if you don't know anything about IT and you want to go to cybersecurity, what would you recommend me to start with? Great question. If you are brand new, you've never done anything in IT before, except maybe go onto Facebook to watch this live stream. Uh, so you know at least how to get on the internet. A few buttons, yeah. uh, <laughs> you at least know that. But yeah, I would probably recommend starting with something either like IT Fundamentals or A+. Now, IT Fundamentals is one we don't have yet, but hint, hint, it's coming. For those who don't know, IT Fundamentals is the most entry-level certification possible. You will not get a job with IT Fundamentals. I will tell yeah, you that I'm right now. That, yeah. No one's going to hire Probably not going to get that now, yeah. Yeah, IT Fundamentals was created by CompTIA as a pre-A plus course. And the reason they did that was that A plus, for those who don't know, is broken up into two halves. And it has been at least since I got it back in 1999 with version three, and we're now in version 11. So it will probably stay that way. But half of it is hardware, half of it is software. And so you take two different tests for that. With IT Fundamentals, they put it all together and they add a little other stuff, but they bring it down to a lower level. So it's more about knowledge and getting introduced to everything in IT. So you'll learn a little bit about the cloud, a little bit about databases, a little bit about programming, a little bit about hardware, a little bit about software, and really see if this thing is something you're interested in before going for something like where you're going to be studying 40 hours for one course, 40 hours for the second course, and taking two different exams. So that, that's why IT Fundamentals is, is something I would recommend looking at. Our IT Fundamentals course should be out in the next three to six months. It should be out by the summer. So that one is coming. That being said, if you want something that's going to lead to a job, A plus would be your first step. As I said, that'll get you into a help desk type job. So you'll be answering phones, resetting passwords, fixing computers, fixing software, all the basic level one stuff, right? It's kind of the first level entry stuff. And that kind of gets you into the field. The good thing about something like A plus is you're going to learn all about hardware. You're going to learn all about software. So when we talk about hardware, we're talking about things like what are the different parts of a laptop? What are the different parts of your desktop? What is a graphics card? What is a hard drive versus an SSD? Which one should you use for which purpose? What is the cloud? Why would we even want to use the cloud? All that kind of stuff, right? And so it's really a good entry level thing. And, and really the big thing that one of the biggest pieces of advice I ever got in my career was always think three to five years ahead. And what I mean by that is, you know, you don't know anything today, which, which is totally fine. Everybody's got to start somewhere. And I don't know your particular case. If you're 18 year olds just got out of high school or you're 60 years old looking to re-career do a new thing, you could be anywhere in between. I've seen people do this career change at any point. But knowing that three to five years, where do you want to be? And hey, I really like this whole idea of being a pen tester, or I like the idea of being a cybersecurity analyst, or I really like the idea of networking. Then you can kind of know, okay, to get to be a network engineer, for instance, I'm going to need to get my A+, my Net+, my CCNA. And by doing those three, I'm going to be making fifty dollars to $75,000 a year in, in that type of a role. And within five years, I'll probably be bumping up close to $100,000 a year as a network technician. And, and knowing that and being able to plan out your path and what your certs are going to be is really helpful. But yeah, I would say the first entry level starting point would be IT fundamentals or A+. And then the other thing I would say with A+, is A+, we already have. So you can go to Udemy right now or Dion Training right now. If you go to deontraining.com slash Udemy, you'll see our links that have our discounted prices for Udemy. It's always, as you probably know, Udemy is always on sale. If you use our links, you'll always pay pretty much $20 or less for a course. Even if Udemy tells you it's $85 or $199, if you go to deontraining.com slash Udemy, you'll get that discount just by clicking on that that button through the course. And you can buy A plus part one, which is the 1101, sorry, 220-1101 is the part one course. That's the hardware course and cloud course. And the second part, which is 1102, that one is the software course, which focuses on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Even if you're not going to take the exam, going through those two courses and learning that information is going to give you such an introduction to the world of IT. You'll start figuring out what things you like and what things you hate. Because in A+, we talk about networks. We talk about software. We talk about programming. We talk about a little bit of everything. And so you'll be able to go, you know what? This programming stuff really looks interesting to me. I want to go become a programmer. Or I really like the cybersecurity stuff. I want to do more of that. Or I really like hardware. I want to stay over there. And being able to do something like that big, broad, one of the best things with certifications is they're big and broad. So you can kind of learn where you want to go in your career and then, and then pigeonhole yourself from there. Long answer to a short question. 